Reports that health care premiums may be going up for millions of Americans as we're learning prices may be going down for one major political ally of President Obama. Joining me now, Wisconsin Republican Senator Ron Johnson, who is introducing a bill to prevent these tax exemptions for unions under Obamacare. Senator, good to see you. This is something well, the Megan. unions have been complaining about for months now, saying, oh, whoops, the, the bill, the law that we now that we love so much, Obamacare, turns out may be very bad for us because it's going to tax us to the tune of $25 billion, unions and other small businesses. And the president, first they asked him to give them subsidies. He said, I can't do that under the law. And now he's considering giving them a major, major tax break. And you're trying to stop it. How? Well, the, the lead sponsor of this bill, really, Senator Thune, Thune uh, Alexander, and a hatch, but I'm, I'm a very willing co-sponsor. And really what the unions are doing, they're being incredibly hypocritical. They, they loved Obamacare until they were being asked to pay for it. And so this is a reinsurance fee, $63 per person covered by insurance. And uh, you know the unions don't want to have to pay for it, so they're, they're trying to get an exemption, and President Obama seems to be willing to accommodate it. So our bill is just going to say, you can't do that, Mr. President. You don't have the legal authority to do so. Is there any... Any reason the, the president would give the unions this exemption other than politics? No, it's, it's totally politics. There's, there's nothing other than politics in this thing. And, you know, what, what millions of Americans are finding out is that, uh, you know, this Orwellian name bill, Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, is not protecting patients. Look at the millions of, of Americans losing their health care, and it's certainly not affordable. And this is certainly one, one reason it's not affordable is all these taxes that are attached to, to premiums to health care, well, and it's just driving up the cost. If the president does give the unions this deal, and there's a lot of question, uh, questioning going on about whether he can do this once again, whether he has the authority, the legal authority to do it, yep, but if he does just it... another example. If he does it, what does that do for the prices that everybody else is going to pay under this law? Well, what this reinsurance fee is supposed to do is supposed to create a fund worth about $25 billion, about $12 billion the first year, and then $8 billion in the second year, $5 billion the third year, and they're only talking about exempting them for the last two years. So somebody else, other Americans, probably in group policy, is going to have to make up that uh, $13 billion difference. So it will cost, it'll cost Americans this, more. If you, I mean, the, you know what? You're, you're probably not going to pass it, right? Harry Reid, he doesn't like to bring these bills to the Senate floor. Maybe the House would pass it if you got it through. But the president's not going to sign this, right? So what does this mean? I mean, is the president just going to do this? You guys are going to try to stop it. You probably fail. And then what's going to happen? The unions really are going to get exempted and everybody else is going to have to pay? Well, the regulation has not been issued yet, and so we're trying to preempt that. But if they do issue the regulation, we have another way we can handle this, too, is the Congressional Review Act, where we can, with expedited procedures, hopefully with just 51 votes, strike down that regulation. So we'll do everything possible to stop this special treatment for, uh, for President Obama's cronies. Senator Johnson, good to see you. Thank you, sir. Have a great night.